Hi, I'm Doug, and um, this is my Dark Basic program. Um, its main function is to show people like how your uh, blood flow is. Um, Explain to us, Doug, what this line of code is right here: color backdrop RGB, and then those three RGB values. Um, the um, that code is for coloring the background um, a darker shade of red. So um, the first number is representing how much red value, mm -hmm. and the other two numbers are the green value and the blue value. Okay, what about AutoCam? Why do you have it set to on? Um, because what AutoCam does is as soon as a new object is loaded, it has the camera focus on that new object. Okay, so you have a picture here, humanbody.jpg. So that you actually put here um in um in the folder right mm -hmm. okay uh what about uh texturing what what is it that you're trying to texture here um uh, right there i'm texturing um well i have um load image heart dot png four right which and, is this right here mm -hmm. and uh the four is the object number uh -huh. i mean the, the picture number and then um, i also did make object plane of uh, four and then the height and the width and, um, what so does that do? That creates a, um, a flat panel mm -hmm. um, in the world. Okay. And when you texture objects, you put in the object number and the image number. Uh -huh. So that it makes the object um, have the same picture on it like as mm -hmm. the picture. Okay, now what about these four parameters here? What, does, uh, what do these represent? You obviously want to position um, object four um, somewhere on the screen, right? So what do these three numbers represent? The negative 10 is uh, where I wanted to move it on the x-axis, the mm -hmm. negative 30 is where I wanted to move it on the y-axis, and the 0 is because I didn't want to move it on the z-axis at all. Okay, so you basically want to hold it like uh, flat as suggested by the plane of the monitor here on the computer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, so you're loading the human body, hard arrows, and words, right? Mm -hmm. Which is uh, heart, human body, arrows, and uh, words. Okay. Uh, okay. What about um, set ambient light? What does what is this right here? That basically sets the light so that um, if if you want to have like shadows or reflections in your program then you would set it a little bit lower right but if you have it at a hundred then that d makes everything perfectly visible okay um, explain to us what this loop does right you you have a do loop here which starts here and ends right here what what is all of this right here well those are um, as you can see, I have a bunch of sinks and a bunch of zero-tate object twos. Right. And um, object two is the arrows. I want the arrows to look like they're spinning. Okay. And, um, if, and I also wanted to make the heart look like it was beating, but um, the only way to make the heart look like it was beating is to lower the sink rate. But if I lower the sink rate, then it also um, makes the arrows rotate slower mm -hmm. uh, and a little bit like frame after frame. Um, mm -hmm. So if I have them, so every sink that I have lowers the sink rate a little bit more and I have a zero tate object in between um, each sink. Right. And I also have the scale object for which is the heart beating. Right. Um, and that basically just makes it like bigger than smaller and in that order and then um. Okay so uh, object two is the um, the arrows. The arrows and object four is the heart. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is um, you're changing, what is it that you're changing about the arrows? Um, I'm changing their rotation on the z-axis Okay. Um, by their current rotation um, plus 5. Oh, okay. So every time you call on this line here, you call on z-rotate object 2, it's actually making this, uh, these arrows rotate counterclockwise uh, by a certain number of degrees, right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you're also scaling object four, so looks like you're making the heart kind of like bigger and then smaller. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the end result here, okay?
Uh, should we close it and run it again? Um, I think that would work. No, it's the, um, the blood F1. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. So here are the arrows, and you're creating the uh, illusion of, uh, of rotating, right? Mm hmm And then uh, every time this rotates with the Z-rotate, this is um, scaling, right? Mm hmm Okay. All right, very good. Very good, Doug. Any questions, gentlemen? Questions at all? No. No? Okay. Very good.